Hi, in this quick tutorial, we'll be talking about getting started with Kinect programming. We'll be creating a simple WPF application, use Kinect toolkit controls, and solve for the Kinect region interaction error. In this tutorial, you need to have at least version 1.7 of the Kinect SDK installed, a Kinect sensor for PC, and a little background in WPF. Before we get started, I recommend pausing the video for I'll be pasting much of the code later. Let's create a WPF application and call it Kinect Tutorial. Next, let's add Kinect DLLs to project reference from the Kinect SDK directory. The main Kinect DLL is found inside the assembly subfolder of the Kinect version folder. Also, let's add toolkit control and interactional DLLs from the assembly subfolder of the developer folder. Once done, let's go ahead and design our program. Let's add a schema to call Kinect Toolkit Controls in the designer. For our first control, let's add the Kinect Sensor Chooser UI and name it accordingly. The Kinect Sensor Chooser UI simply tells us if the Kinect is connected to our PC or not. Next, let's add the Kinect Region Control and name it Kinect Region. The Kinect region is simply a canvas for other Kinect Toolkit controls. It has already a built-in hand cursor which you would see later on. Now let's add a circle button control which we can press using the built-in hand cursor. Okay, so let's add a label that would tell us if the circle button is pressed. For our last control, let's add the Kinect User Viewer control. This displays a pixelated view of the user. That's why we should bind this control to the Kinect region since it would use the interaction data from Kinect region and use it to display user view data. Now let's add Kinect libraries referenced earlier in our code. Let's declare a Kinect Sensor Chooser class. Then, let's fire a loaded event listener in our page. Inside the loaded event, we'll initialize the Sensor Chooser class, start a Kinect Change Event Listener, assign the Sensor Chooser UI, and start the Kinect Sensor. The Kinect Change Listener simply disables status streams of an unplugged Kinect Sensor and then enables a new set of data streams for a newly connected sensor. If there are no errors, the Kinect sensor then gets assigned to the Kinect region. Let's now add a click event to our circle button. When the button is pressed, the label content will then change to you press the circle button. So let's run the program. And there's the Kinect region error. For some reason, it needs a certain interaction DLL in order to work. That DLL is found inside the bin folder of the developer toolkit library of the SDK. Copy both 32 and 64-bit versions of the DLL and then paste it to the output folder of our project. So let's run again our program. And there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.